We're all feeling a little worse for this morning. Hangovers are a real thing, and in the van they're not great, but I've got coffee, I had a little banana, all of a sudden it's just ebbing away. And they have a shower here, so that's really nice. Hopefully everyone's feeling a little up to it, because I do want to do some introductions and show you guys the V-dubs that are here, and the, one, and the people that I met here, so... Yeah, should be good. We're celebrating a birthday yesterday, you know, you just can't, can't take that kind of stuff lightly. He turned 33. That's crazy. Uh, not your birthday, champ. Okay, fine, it's your birthday. Every day's your birthday. Come here. There you go. You guys doing? Hey. I'm good. How are you guys? Alive. Alive. Oh, did you go to bed? You look like a million bucks. The rest of us are just like. Out of shower. Uh, I was in there for like a half hour. Yeah, yeah. A little hand hangover breakfast. The cure for everything. We're all good. Not the whole crew here. Hi. Maybe you look, you're not looking so great there, man. I know. I'm tired. <laughs> But is there food though? There you go, nice catch. Nice buddy. Just a little bit of mushroom. Kind of let that go. <laughs> so this is Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi, hi. What do you live in? Uh, I live in an 88 Westie. For how long now? <laughs> uh, it's only been a month. A month in. What has been the hardest thing for you? Uh, doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah? I hate doing the dishes. Cause you don't, and you don't have a fridge and that your fridge is broken. Yeah, but you know what? That hasn't really been an issue. I just kind of adapted to that. Yeah. yeah. And you had, so what's been like, what was the surprisingly easiest thing, for instance? So people like all, all have these questions when they're before their van dwelling. And there's so many things that they ask me that are really concerned about, but they're actually super easy. So surprisingly easiest thing for me is probably just how quickly I adapted to the lifestyle. I mean, I, all of it has kind of just come really naturally, I guess, yeah. which is weird. I was not expecting that. Um, meeting people, I guess, is probably one of the easiest things. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're doing this, is just you and your dog, Trigger. Yeah. Who's around, directly behind you. Yes. Staring at a ball. <laughs> Obsessed with the ball. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I wish you luck. Maybe Thank we'll you. meet up again on the road. Sounds good. <laughs>
was amazing. It was amazing meeting up with those guys. What a chance encounter. Like, just all of us coming together at the right time, right place. So cool. Uh, but I now have another meeting. <laughs> I've had a few of these last few days. I'm going to go meet with uh, Chris from Chris and G Travels, and I'm so excited for it. So, that's up next. Let's hit the road. I'm with Chris uh, in the Chris and G-Mobile, also known as Atlas, which is a, you, you started, you're like a veteran of van dwelling. You're a veteran of mobile lifestyle and YouTube. Like, how long have you been doing it, your channel? Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I've been doing it's the him. channel now for about four years and then posting a lot for about two or three years. To be honest, it goes by Yeah, fast. it feels like, it feels like you've been on longer than that, uh, but I guess it's all it's been. It's well, four years. When, when it first started, it was kind of sporadic. Yeah. Before people really posted travel vlogs, so I had no idea what I was doing. It's literally just yeah. like I have like a uh, a GoPro, a GoPro two, just like right here. So here I am at the lake, you know. <laughs> yeah, at the lake. <laughs> you know? Here. So it wasn't really a vlog. It's just more of like an audio of my face, kind of talking about where I was and what I was doing. And uh, then you know, over time, as as we saw people come along and kind of put their styles together and then we started making you know kind of the vlogs like actual s telling stories of what we're doing so yeah. it started out pretty simple but ended up with uh with this class a motorhome that's pretty it's dope been, it's pretty been a dope long, setup. long process like i'm explaining who he is as if like all my subscribers don't already know who you are but oh there's there's so many more people coming to the lifestyle now, maybe though. maybe it's all new i don't know but if you haven't heard of them go check out their channel it's huge and they've been at it forever, so you get to see what it, this looks like on the long, long scale. Because you've been mobile for five years, four years? Mobile, yeah, five. Well, I graduated college in 2008, and that's when I started traveling pretty much full-time. I'd stop crazy. somewhere, work, travel again. So. Yeah, so you, and you have, like, and you have a lot, you have a lot of information on your channel about, like, financially making it work, too. Right. Like, the, you're, you're big on working seasonally with places and stuff. That's seasonally been, is, like, honestly, it's... When, when, when you're first starting, and I mean, you might be able to agree with this or not, but when you're first starting, working seasonally, you actually get to go somewhere and be a part of the culture. You're actually able to be there, be meet the people from there, eat the food from right. there, yeah. be in the landscape day after day. All right, cooking dinner tonight. I'm making a chicken penne alfredo. So uh, I'm actually going to make it a little bit different this time. I'm going to add spinach to the sauce. Lately, I've been putting more veggies, more meats, more sauce-related stuff, less of the noodles. So this is going along that same track. I'm going to try some spinach with the Alfredo sauce. I think it's going to be fantastic. Anyway, let's check it out. Your classic chicken and onions just frying up here. A little bit of chili uh, powder just to give it some color. A little bit of a spice kick to it. Just so it's not too bland. Some garlic in there. Perfect base. Next up, you got the mushrooms, but you also have, like I did with my curry, I like to add tomatoes to it just to, you know, break up some of that solid garlic cheesiness that's a bit too strong. The tomato kind of breaks it up really nicely. You add that close to the end. 
just let it stew just a bit, just to soften it a little bit, but it really breaks down the flavor. Of course, you know, it's not my cooking unless there's some chili flakes in it, a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick. I like to put fresh jalapeno peppers because they're so cheap here. It's so good, so fresh, so awesome. But uh, I ran out. Used the last bit of breakfast this morning, so. Dried chili flakes it is. My cooking when G's not around is pretty simple. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Like gnocchi with some goat cheese. Oh, that, that's some, actually pretty and good. Some right? in there with some oh, all right. Oil. Yeah, there you go. That's that, not that, bad. That's the extent. <laughs> that's pretty nice. That's pretty <laughs> it's not nice. Not as fancy as this. This this, looks this is uh, this is no goat cheese in this one. Thank you that much. <laughs> we do the uh, the the Costco. Oh yeah. You ever hit up Costco at all? Yeah. Got a membership. Yeah, you got to. Oh, got you. Trains everybody. Oh man, what an amazing couple of days. I am. Very tired. I'm going to crash and sleep well tonight, but it's so nice to meet up with Chris. It's like, I love meeting up with YouTubers. I love meeting up with other van dwellers. People who just like do your specific thing. You can talk shop with them all night and it's just feels like rejuvenating, you know, and, and I've just had nothing but that for three days straight. So it's been a great couple of days, great couple of days. I'm going to set out again. Tomorrow I'll be on my own for, for a little bit, and then I'll be in Santa Fe seeing another familiar face, so looking forward to that too. God, it's not the best life, you know? <laughs> Plus, like, this BLM is amazing. Check this out.